Hi, Susan Short with FBTV. We are at NAM 2020 at Anaheim, California, and we are with Michael Bradford. Wow, how are you doing today, Michael? Not bad, not bad at all. It's a wonderful time to be here. There's so much going on in Anaheim. It's just a great time. It's amazing. This NAM has just got a great vibe. I think because we've been around such interesting people. Yeah. It's just wonderful. I'd like to hear everybody's story and so much talent, yeah. including yourself. So you have a production company mm -hmm. that has worked with some big names. Tell us about that and tell us about some of the people that you've worked with and how you got to the business. Well, we're Chunky Style Music. I've been in business for about 35 years. and. It started out in Detroit, but I eventually migrated here to California, Southern California. And over the time, I've gotten a chance to work with Anita Baker, Kid Rock, Uncle Cracker, Deep Purple, Nirvana, wow. Wow. Stevie Nicks, um, a wide range of people over the years. That's fantastic. So I heard you speaking a while ago a little bit about working with Kid Rock. So his style, everybody knows him, he's a household name, yeah. but back in the day, he was sort of out of the box, right? He okay. was a unicorn. It was a very unusual thing for the industry, because when, when we really got started with Kid Rock, the popular things were Britney Spears, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. So it was a very different musical environment on the radio. Right. And what we were doing was combining basically country music with hip hop and R&B and soul and blues. So in the Midwest where we're from, it was very common for people to listen to a wide variety of music, but on the coasts, it was a lot more specific what people liked. And then when you throw in MTV and things like that, they were very specific right. what they were playing. So we were really out of the box at the time. Yeah. But even then, I could tell that people who came to see it really loved it. And if we could just spread that around a little bit at a time, it would eventually cover everyone. Yeah. And eventually that became the thing. We became MTV. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And he has a very distinct look as well. Everything and he's about doing him. a lot of good charity work, is he not? Yeah, he's down in, uh, in uh, mainly now in Alabama and in Tennessee, yeah. where he's based now. And he does a lot of things for charity. And he has uh, he does some cruises that raise money for things. And he also started a few businesses back in Michigan that employ local people and uh, make various products and things like that. Yeah. So let's talk more about you. We're here to talk about you, the man behind the curtain. That's a wonderful piece that you're working on. Yeah. It's going to drop pretty soon. Tell us about it. Well, I've always been very much interested in movie music, film music, scores, and soundtracks. And one of the people I've always admired is Bernard Herrmann, who did all that great music for Alfred Hitchcock. Ooh, I and, love Alfred Hitchcock. And one day I was just doing this musical experiment while I was listening to some of his stuff. And I was playing some beats from this other type of music, trip hop, like Massive Attack and Portishead. And the, that's more of a hip hop reggae kind of sound. Yeah. And I had just that beat playing, and then I started playing a little bit of one of the pieces of, from Herman, I think it was from Psycho or Vertigo. And they just happened to sync up in a certain way that was really appealing to me. Uh -huh. And so it just took me down this five year journey of seeing which pieces go with what. And I ended up making an entire album out of it. And it occurred to me it would be great to perform it and perform it with a real orchestra. I love that, yeah. it's brilliant. So tell us more about the piece. There's gonna be visuals behind it as well. Yeah, the idea is to have music, me with my electronic instruments, a whole, an orchestra, but also there'll be videos that we're pre-filming now with some great actors that I know, like Creed Bratton, who was on The Office. Great. And um, we're gonna have that all pre-made so that it projects on a big screen behind us while the music is playing. I love and that. And I've got a great lighting designer who's developing this really great light show um, so that when you see it, you're gonna hear the music, but there's also gonna be something else to, for the eyes to see. Sure, mm -hmm. which is great also because, uh, you know, as far as orchestras are concerned, it ties into supporting music, right. you know, classical music, music with different genres, mixed right. genres, and it's really important instead of having everything spoon-fed to them, they actually have to think and enjoy it. Oh, absolutely. Different environments. And there's a lot of young musicians who are in music school now, and they're yes. wondering what are they gonna do? when they're done. Right. And not everybody's gonna be in an orchestra playing Beethoven. Right. Some people are gonna be on a movie set, some people are gonna be on a recording session, we're helping people make albums. There's a lot of different ways to, to have a career in music, and everyone's gonna find their own way. But what we're trying to do is by doing this hybrid uh, style, we're showing that this can also work with that. It's not all one or not all the other. Yeah. And a lot of this music is so classic now. Everybody knows it, even if they can't say, I know who made it, it's all so familiar to them, but giving it a new rhythmic underpinning makes it a whole new thing. 
Yeah. That's just brilliant. So where can we find more information? Chunkystyle.com? Yeah, chunkystylemusic.com is the website. It'll have um, some stuff about my company and also releases that we're working on. And, and this project, uh, as, as time goes on, will be added more, more, more and more content will be added on it. And also on Instagram, I think it's M. Bradford Music. M. Bradford Music or Michael Bradford Music. Look for Michael Bradford on Instagram. We'll you'll, drop the you'll, links you'll below. You'll find me. You'll we'll see. find him. Don't worry. The I'm, links are going to be dropped below. There's not a lot of guys on Instagram that look like this. I think you'll find me. You're very handsome. <laughs> Absolutely. And charming and interesting and brilliant. Well, we wish you all the best of luck. We hope to see the man behind the curtain in Sarasota or in Florida sometime soon, but it's going to be in Ohio, you said? Yeah, our first performance with an orchestra will be March 14th in Cleveland. Great. Congratulations on everything that you're doing. Thanks it's great talking to you. Thank you so much. It's Susan Short with FBTV, over and out from NAM 2020. Bye. It's great talking to you. Thank you so much. It's Susan